Hi everybody, this is Nathan Bloss. I am a junior technical support engineer at Go Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to create configurations for helixes and spirals. Let's start with creating a sketch on the front plane. We're going to add a circle. Uh, let's dimension that to be 200 millimeters. Perfect, let's exit the sketch. Um, let's make this into a helix. So let's go to features, uh, curves, helix and spirals at the end. We want a height and revolution helix. So let's select that with a variable pitch. Now those are all the parameters we can have. So let's edit those. Let's change the pitch to 20. Okay, now let's change the height to uh, 100 add five revolutions, and then the end diameter to be 100 millimeters as well. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Let's select that. There's our spiral. Okay, now let's make a configuration. You can do this by going over to the feature tree, right clicking, and going to configure feature. This brings up the configuration table, as you can see, um, but there's nothing to configure. None of the parameters have been selected. So what you can do is go over to the feature tree, uh, double click on the feature. It brings up all of these parameters and features. Um, let's add the height, the end diameter, number of revolutions, and we want the start diameter, but it's not there. So what you have to do is go over, expand the tree, and double click on the sketch. There we go. As you can see in the background there, there's the start diameter. Let's double click that. Now these names aren't very descriptive, so let's change them. This one we'll call the height. This is the end diameter. This one is the number of revolutions. And finally, the start diameter. All right, so now that we have all of our parameters, we can make a new configuration. Go over to the configuration tree there. Um, let's do a new one. Um, let's change these parameters so we get two different spirals. Let's make the height um, 150 millimeters. Let's make the end diameter 50 millimeters give it three revolutions, and the start diameter 150 millimeters as well. Click Apply. And now we would like to save this table, so we'll go over here and give it a name. Let's call it Helix. And let's click Save. Click OK. All right, there's our first um, Helix. Let's go to the configuration tree. There's our second configuration called new, double click, and there is our second uh, helix. Now if we want to edit this again, we'll go over to the configuration tree, and there is the tables, and there is the table helix that we created. Double click on that, and it brings it back up where we can edit if we need to. Uh, this has been Nathan Bloss with Go Engineer on how to create different helixes and spiral configurations. Mm -hmm.